It has been a long week of adjustment for a lot of Head Start parents in Detroit. One of the 24 centers had to close unexpectedly after they found cancer causing chemicals in the air in the building. Local 4 Business Editor Rod Maloney joins us to tell us what's being done to help these families. Even by its looks, you can tell that this building was part of Detroit's industrial heyday, a hundred years old. But more recently, it has been a daycare center for Head Start. That is until this week. That's crazy. Betsy Barr is a Head Start parent and two year employee here. She's reacting to this sign saying unsatisfactory air quality forced the Rosa Parks Boulevard buildings closing to all tenants. After 25 years here, Head Start found out last Saturday with this letter from its landlord, it needed to go. Betsy found out Sunday her three children, boys four and three, and her one-year-old daughter were going to have to move to a different school. Since everything is pretty much full for the early Head Start side, which is the babies, um, I'm just having a really hard time finding a school for her, but I did get the older boys in the school. More upsetting is the fact that this area in the building was a place where they used trichloroethylene, an industrial degreaser, many years ago, and it spilled into the soil underneath the building, and it's now emitting possibly cancer-causing fumes throughout. That includes the daycare classrooms. Head Start CEO Brad Coulter says the landlord did the right thing. And I give them credit. They notified us immediately, uh, you know, where everybody in the building has vacated. Everybody's uh, stopped paying, you know, their, their rental amounts, obviously, since we can't uh -huh. use the building. Temporarily closed means the next 60 to 90 days. And the parents are being told that they can have their children tested and Head Start will pay for those tests to make sure that the children are healthy. Are you going to get them tested? Oh, for sure. Yeah make sure they're okay. Yeah, I need to. As they look down the road, the question is, what happens if they can't come back in the building after 90 days? Well, at this point, they don't know the answer. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Okay, Rod, and one of the concerns here is that many of the children go to school in the Head Start building for five years. The landlord is continuing air testing and is awaiting results to share with its tenants in the next week or so.